A top section 113. Welcome to Union Pre Kick Live. I'm Dave Leto. Sebastian Latou has the night off tonight, but a familiar face to Union fans will be right next to me on the set. Before we introduce him, let's take a look back at his playing career for the boys in blue. Tonight, I am pleased to be joined by former Union defender Shannon Williams, who played with the Union over 140 appearances from 2010 to 2015. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Dave, thanks for having me. It's exciting to be back, and it's exciting uh, to be here for the second game of the season here, uh, here at Subaru Park. Really looking forward to the broadcast tonight. What have been your overall impressions of the team in both CONCACAF Champions League action and MLS play? The team's had a great start to the season, I think, moving forward. Well, speaking of Langa Foundation, the Union are coming off of a colossal victory on Tuesday night. The Champions League action at the quarterfinals, a 3-0 win in Atlanta with all three goals coming in the second half. Katsper Shabelko has been on a tear with four goals at CCL play. You were right back for the Union, playing right in front of Andre Blake. We were talking right before the broadcast that you were here when Andre got drafted in 2014. What has he meant for the club from the time when he first got to the Union here in Chester until this point? Yeah, watching Andre develop since he's come to the Union is, is definitely a huge step on why they've taken a, the next step and, and been Supporter Shield winners. Gearing up for the 13th regular season meeting against New York City FC at the bottom of the hour. Top Section 113, welcome to Union Pre-Kick Live with Shaden Williams. I'm Dave Leto. Shaden, it's now time for Iowa to pitch. Two things you're looking out for tonight, and we begin with defending set pieces. Every goal that New York City scored last week against FC Cincinnati came on a set piece, so they got to be good tonight. Absolutely. Five goals on set pieces. It's definitely got to be something that the Union key, on, key in on tonight and do a good job of uh, not giving up silly fouls in and around the box to give quality players free service into the box for, for good runners and, and some some definitely some height that they'll have out there. Yeah, I know a lot of Union fans were very disappointed to see Gonzalo Higuain just peel off that back shoulder of Leon Flock and get that goal from his brother, Federico Higuain, who came in off the bench. And your second point is being better in possession tonight against the wingbacks of New York City FC. Yeah, if the Union can do a little bit of better job of, of cleaning up the sloppy turnovers and getting their, their fullbacks higher, it'll, it'll help them and serve them into getting crosses into the box. And yeah, don't forget also Tati Castellanos, who is huge up top and should be pressing a lot the Union back line tonight. And with more for tonight's match, we say hello for the first time upstairs inside the booth to JP Della Camera and Danny Higginbottom. Thank you, Dave. Danny, third game in eight nights and a big game on Tuesday against Atlanta. How does this team, the Union, put this game into perspective? I think first and foremost, you look at the reaction uh, midweek against Atlanta. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. They Welcome back to the set. Yes, it's the first go around for the Philadelphia Union at Scotiabank CONCACAF Champions League action, but they have felt right at home. They have been unbeaten in CCL play. And on Tuesday night, it was a lackluster first half. Andre Blake was huge, but the second half was a different story. And it turned out to be a landmark 3-0 victory for the Philadelphia Union. Okay, guys, uh, look, Champions League, right? Final eight teams on this continent. I think, Shannon, there were a lot of fist pumps. Fans were getting out of their chairs when they saw that goal to counter uh, Shabelko fitting it on to Anthony Fontana. You know, I think back to great performances, of course, the playoff win against the Red Bulls, Toronto last year, the Supporters Shield clincher. But where does that win against Atlanta rank for you amongst wins all time for the Philadelphia Union? Yeah, I definitely think it ranks up there. It's something that the, the club hasn't been involved in in its, in its history. So, And wow, could it be either Portland or Club America? They're at 1-1 on aggregate. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, should the Union prevail into that semifinal against one of those two teams? But the Union tonight back in MLS play against New York City FC. We will wrap up Union Free Kick Live as you're taking a look at Maxi Morales and company. The Union got to stop this guy at all times tonight. We'll be back. And welcome back above Section 113 with Shaded Williams. I'm Dave Leto. It's now time for watching you. Two players that we're going to key in on tonight. I'll start with Jack Elliott. Uh, we talked about set pieces. The Union have to defend set pieces. I know Jack's big on set pieces on the offensive side in the attack. 
defensively. Have to man mark guys like Castellanos, Medina. Don't let one of those two guys beat you on a corner by Maxi Morales tonight. The Union can ill afford that. I think that starts with Jack Elliott, also Jacob Glezes too. And I know you're talking defensively here with Andre Blake looking for another shutout. Yeah, Andre Blake is definitely my player to watch tonight. I think he's done a great job at the beginning of the season. That will do it for Union Pre-Kick Live. Head on over to PHL 17 for the start of tonight's broadcast with J.P. Delacaber and Danny Higginbottom. Shane and I will see you at halftime at Postgame on TV. Enjoy the first half, everyone, on PHL 17.